Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Rockford at the American Motors Owners Organization, is that right? And uh, they've got their national convention right here. So we're gonna talk to Peggy, nice to see you, Peggy. Nice to meet you. And Joe. Greetings, nice to see you. And we're here with the Howards, and they've brought a car, where have you guys come from? Derry, New Hampshire. Derry, New Hampshire, let me grab the camera. Joe, what did you bring here today? We brought our 1966 AMC Marlin. Uh, it's a limited production, three years only. 66 was the middle year. Made about 4,500 uh, cars that year, and uh, ours is one of them, number 612 off the assembly line. And it's almost all original. Almost all original. The right? only thing not is just the tires, which would make a lot of sense. Yeah, well, it's actually got the original interior. It's got several uh, options, like the uh, black vinyl roof, which is still original because it spent most of its life in, in uh, storage, so it's preserved that. And the interior is original, even down to the shag carpet that they had back in the 60s. Peggy, what do you like about this car? It's comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and your shirt kind of goes with the car. Let's take a look. Oh, we'll keep you. talking about the car. Okay. Come on back. This car has one of the most, I think, beautiful tails of all cars. It has kind of a 60s charger look and uh, with American Motors and yet as we get closer Joe we've got the vinyl top that goes all the way down the trunk it does and it also goes around the uh, windows as an accent piece let's take a look at that I want to just we, we, we will take a look at that I just want to get a chance to feature some of these taillights now Joe you said out of all the cars in the world one of the reasons why you were actually looking for a Marlin was why because it's unique uh, you don't see very many of them. Uh, it's, uh, it's fun to take the shows, not only just the uh, AMC shows like we are today, but it's also good to take to mix make shows, uh, show off with, uh, like you mentioned, the Chargers. We've, we've been there with a lot of Mustangs and Chevys and, and Ford products. And uh, we usually get a lot of attention. We enjoy talking about the car. It's, uh, got a lot of miles on it. It's uh, been driven hard when it was young. Um, we got 163,000 miles on it right now. We, uh, we did trailer it out to uh, Illinois, but we usually drive it uh, all around New England when we take it to shows and, and cruise nights. And as you said, there's where the vinyl starts. Right, and it goes all the way around and all down the way around. the A-pillar and down the A-pillar. Yeah, a lot of detail, which you don't see very much of anymore. And really a treat. Even the mirror's got these little notches on it. Looks great. Let's take a look at the front. I'm noticing the little windshield squirter right yep, there. The windshield washer. And the really neat looking hood ornament. Right, this, uh, for the Marlin, the uh, AMC really came out with some interesting uh, logos including the script uh, logo for the Marlin, the hood ornament and uh, you did uh, see the ornament that's embedded in the trunk there. Uh, yeah I really like that one. Let's pop the hood. Uh, you yeah. know what let's let's before we do that let me do the interior. Sure. I'm getting ahead of myself I'm so excited about your car. Now let me give people kind of the look that first of all this door has got some wonderful turn steel. Yeah the machine turning on the uh, trim in the door goes all the way across the dash also and the power brakes Passenger now, door and now I'm noticing a hood uh, a headrest on one side not on the driver's side turns out those were dealer options uh, that's interesting I've, I've seen a headrest on both I've seen headrests on the drivers but uh, this is the only car I've seen headrests just on the passenger side so we figured that the original owner his wife wanted a headrest. And that comes down or comes up. Well, wow, that is. So this has the airline uh, recliner bucket seats, which was a high end option. Um, recliner, so these seats go all the way down. Right, and it was a Rambler AMC feature. Well, let me do this. What's that switch for? That is the switch for the power antenna. It was okay. another dealer option. Usually the antenna is mounted on the front cowl hood on the passenger side. Really nice interior. You know, that's interesting. In 66, fasten seat belts, drive carefully. Yes. That's, that does not seem like a 66 feature because back then it was unfastened seat belts because they're in your way. 
Well, they were just because starting to become a safety option. AMC was really one of the forerunners for a lot of safety options, and including uh, the dual uh, um, brake master cylinder, uh, the, uh, the seat belts in the cars, uh, safety glass, things like that. Now you have a tissue box here. Yes, that was an option for uh, AMC and Rambler. Uh, put a, a tissue box in there and uh, it just swivels out and you can uh, take one and then swivel it back in. Who signed the dash? That's uh, Vince Jurassic. He's here at the show. Last year when we had this at the Cleveland show, he was there also. And he's one of he, he's one of the designers. He did the interior of the car. And uh, so he, uh, he graciously signed the dash. And I've been uh, in touch with him on and off for, for several uh, years, ever since uh, we first met him back in 2005. That's pretty cool. And we've got the... The mirror. That's for the remote mirror, right? Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna open the hood and we're gonna start it. When we start it, I do wanna uh, do the power antenna. Sure. That's a pretty cool option. This is the uh, 327 V8 with a four barrel Holley carburetor. And that was the big engine. That was the big engine. This was the last year for that engine. This this engine actually first came out in 1955 with the um, the Rambler Rebel. Remember the movie Cars and the Doc? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So they came out with this engine. It was uh, beat the Chevy 327 in production by a couple of years. Um, got 270 horsepower. Uh, I've got it coupled with an automatic transmission. And uh, it really cruises very nicely uh, along the highway at 60, 70 miles an hour. Keeps up with traffic even with today's high speed cars. You know, Joe, one of the things I love about your car is really it's like a historical lesson that we're leaving this legacy for people, especially YouTubers are many times younger and, and, and look at something like this and they go, wow, that's kind of cool, and they get the chance to know and, and learn all about it, and I like to kind of get all the details for them. Let's, uh, let's turn it on. Sure. See what it sounds like. Joe, that's smooth. Yes. Yeah, that's These real These engines smooth. are really, really quiet and smooth running. Uh, it's kind of a feature that uh, you don't expect in these older cars. Yeah, I did not expect that. Let me uh, get a little exhaust, though. We've got a drag car going by, so we're going to give that a second. Joe, two things. Give me just a little, a little rev. Okay. Because it is so quiet. Wow. luxurious let's turn on that antenna sure. so when he hits the switch up there antenna the antenna does that pretty cool okay we'll put that back down very cool all right let's shut her down and let's close the hood Peggy come on back with me for a second step into the picture if you would please Peggy, what's the color of this car? Marquesa Mauve. Marquesa Mauve, mm -hmm. metallic. Wow, that is uh, that is quite unique. Beautiful. I just saw one thing that I want to show people too. Yeah, on the door tag there, it gives the uh, codes for the paint and the interior, and it actually uh, gives you know how to decode them. The plant it was built in, which all these were built in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Yeah. And uh, the build time. And so yeah, it's it's it's, it's a, a fun car. car. We, yeah. we really uh, we've got a couple of AMCs, and this is the one we enjoy the most. <laughs> and if we're driving, and a lot of people give us a thumbs up. There we go. That's the important thing, right? Thanks so much for being on my car story and sharing your car with us. Thank you're welcome. You. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.